Were we all duped? That's what the customer now claims after that restaurant receipt went viral, making national headlines. Bryn Gingrass is here now with a stunning new twist you'll see only on News 4. Bryn? Well, Shiva and Chuck, it's a case of she said and they said. It was days after that story aired that a Bridgewater couple noticed their copy of the bill looked remarkably like the one waitress Dana Morales posted online. Except not only did they say they generously tipped her, but they never wrote that hateful message. And it's possible it was all made up. When a New Jersey waitress said she was stiffed on a tip because of her lifestyle, the sympathy and the cash came pouring in. I'm donating pretty much $3,000. News 4 is one of many media outlets that reported on the former Marines' shocking and offensive story. People are very ignorant. They should be ashamed of themselves for watching. There was one couple who was watching and took those words to heart. Don't think that way. Um, most tolerant people, I don't care what you do in your life, um, if you're a good person. I sat down with a couple who asked we not show their faces. They told me it was their family who Morales served that night, and their customer copy of the check proves Morales' version of the story doesn't add up. 100% you know that's your check. Yeah, I can actually tell it's my name under the fuzzed out name. In fact, both copies of the check have the same date, timestamp. But the totals are different. The family says they left an $18 tip. They even provided news for their credit card statement showing those charges on their visa. That's something that also puzzled the restaurant manager. So why would her credit card be charged this much? $111.55, including a 20% tip. How do you know this is a not copy? You know, to make it. Because I have a copy of her credit card statement being charged this amount. And that message, I'm sorry, but I cannot tip because I do not agree with your lifestyle and how you live your life. The couple says it's not even their handwriting. And I said, oh, my God, they've she's doctored up our our check. They just said it's possible you made this up because this isn't their handwriting and this isn't how they left the check. Uh, that's not my handwriting. I don't know. Again, I don't know. Tonight, we talked to Morales, who's sticking with her story and says she's certain she wasn't tipped. Do you see why they're upset? I, I guess. I mean, I'm sure. Because it's a disgusting thing to do, to, to write that, you know, the restaurant profits from this. Obviously, Dana is profiting from this. And it's fraud. It's a scam. In a statement to News 4, Gallup Restaurant says it opened an internal investigation and Morales is still waiting tables. And this family, who says they've dined at Gallup many times before, well, they say they have no intentions of going back. I think there's enough hate and intolerance in the world that to create it when it wasn't there is shameful and dishonorable. Now, the family believes this may have, what may have happened is that this was just triggered by a misunderstanding. The family says they were told their server's name was Dan, not Dana. Dana did say that the family called her Dan and says she was offended and reported it to managers. Sheba? Brent, a lot of folks scratching their heads over this story here. We know some donations have been coming in. Since these allegations have come up, what's happening with those donations? Well, yeah, donations from all around the world, Sheba. Right now, what we know is Dana told me tonight she still plans to donate all of those profits to the Wounded Warriors. Sheba and Chuck? All right, Brent Grass, thank you.